Welcome for mathematics lesson. We're going to discuss probability number 18. We are told that in a science class, two out of three of the class are boys and the rest are girls. 80% of the boys and 90% of the girls are right-handed. The probability that the right-handed boy will break a test tube in any session is 1 out of 10 and that for the left-handed girl is 3 out of 10. Draw a tree diagram to represent this information. Therefore, we are told that in the class, two-thirds are boys and the rest are girls. This is to mean if I begin by drawing probability that a student is a boy or a girl, then I will have to say that probability that a student is a boy is 2 out of 3. That means probability of a girl is a third. Then now we are told 80% of the boys and 90% of the girls are right-handed. So a boy can be right-handed or left-handed. A girl too can be right-handed or left-handed. So the probability that a boy is right-handed is 80%. So 80 out of 100. That means left-handed is 20%. Then for the girls, 90% of the girls are right-handed. Therefore for girls, 90% are right-handed. That means it's only 10% of the girls who are left-handed. Then finally, we are told that uh, the probability that the right-handed boy student will break a test tube in any session is 1 out of 10. Therefore, the right-handed may break a test tube or fail to break a test tube. So the probability that right-handed boy breaks a test tube is 1 out of 10. Therefore, breaking a test tube is 1 out of 10. That means not breaking, not breaking equals to 9 out of 10. Again, the probability that for the left-handed girl student is 3 out of 10. Therefore, probability that the left-handed girl breaks a test tube is 3 out of 10. So this girl can break a test tube or fail to break a test tube. And breaking a test tube is 3 out of 10. That means not breaking is 7 out of 10. Therefore, this is the probability. The probability that... Uh, or these are the possible outcomes. The probability that right-handed boy will break a test tube is 1 out of 10. That means probability of the same same student who is a boy and right-handed not breaking is 9 out of 10. <coughs> Using the tree diagram drawn, find the probability that a student chosen at random from the class is left-handed. So we can have a student who is a boy and left-handed or probability a student who is a girl and left-handed. That means probability a boy to that and being left-handed 20 over 100 or means addition a girl is a third and that she is left-handed is 10 over 100. Therefore this is going to be the probability that a student picked from this class is left-handed. Two thirds multiplied by 20%. Then we add one out of three multiplied by 10 out of 100. This is going to give us one out of six. One out of six. The next is that we are finding the probability that a test tube is broken by a left-handed student. 
a test tube is broken by a left handed student so this is probability girl left handed and breaks a test tube we don't have the probability that the student being a boy breaks a test tube that one is not given therefore we only operate with this a girl is a third left handed is 10 over 100 and breaking a test tube is 3 out of 10 so this is going to be 10 by 3 out of 3 by 100 by 10 this is going to be 1 out of 1000 mm -hmm. 1 out of 100 sorry yeah when we simplify this zero cancels and this three will cancel a test tube is broken by a right-handed student so a student breaking a test tube and is right-handed that one is only provided for the boy therefore this is going to be a boy right-handed and breaks a test tube so a boy is two thirds, right handed, 80%, breaking a test tube, one over 10. Therefore, this is going to be two by 80 out of 3000. This is going to be four out of seven, five. Four out of seven, five. And finally, a test tube is not broken in any session probability that a test tube is not broken so it's going to be probability a girl left-handed and not breaking a test tube or probability picking a boy right-handed and fails to break so we're going to have probability a boy right-handed and fails to break or probability a girl who is left-handed and fails to break a test tube. Therefore, probability a boy is two-thirds, right-handed 80, and fails to break 9 out of 10. Or, probability a girl, left-handed, and fails to break and fails to break therefore i can compute now this well begin with two thirds times nine out of ten then one out of three times ten out of hundred times seven out of ten seven out of ten therefore i'm going to have one hundred and seven divided by 150 so this is the probability that uh, a test tube is not broken in any session thank you for following subscribe and share